harmony while we dance through the Oh, yeah, I, I know how that is. My power. I'm just a kid. That's just what Jesus would say. Okay. What kind of god would leave you in a place like this? I know you love me, oh lord. This is but another one of your holy tests of my faith in thee. Even if I was God, do you really think my tests would involve living off of mashed prunes for sustenance and endless reruns of Murder, She Wrote for entertainment while your family forgets about you? The Lord does work in mysterious ways. Stop saying that! That's a stupid thing people say when they can't explain their own religious crap! I have been for this my entire life and I will pray until my dying day. Has that day finally come? No, you're not going to die today. Oh well, there's always tomorrow. Okay. Look, if you just open your this eyes, game, man, I swear. Standing here and not some divine being or whatever. My eyes must remain shut. For how can I prove my faith if I need to open my eyes to see if you're truly there? But I'm telling you, I'm just a kid, a human being. Just open your eyes so you can see me. All devout followers of yours know that looking you in the eye would blind us or turn us into a pillar of salt or something. God damn it! Good heavens! I never imagined that the Lord would take his own name in vain. You continue to surprise me, oh king of kings. Jesus Christ, lady, please stop. Fine, uh, I command thee to do my bidding. Yes, command me, my lord. Can I have five bucks? You certainly can. I'll be sure to bring it to church this Sunday. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, Outplayed. I, what I, meant. I wanted you to give it to me now, and... You know I never miss going to church, and when they pass that collection plate around, I'll give you all that I have, for I know I shan't be on this earth for much longer. Of course, I was going to give it to my grandchildren so that they could go to college. But you're commanding me to give it to you, so I know that it's going to a higher purpose. Okay. Please don't. I don't want the money. Just give it to your grandchildren. Look at you. Testing my faith once again. God first, family second. The money is yours. This is horrible. I hate being God. Yup. Okay, lady. You just keep on praying. I have, uh, God stuff to do. Take care. By your grace. Ah, uh, peace be with you and stuff. And also with you. I take that. By the looks of it, she's already been touched by the Lord. I, on the other hand, was touched by a priest once. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, we're back here. Okay. So he wants us to r rummage through this guy's pockets over here? Please don't wake up, old man. I'm just borrowing your drugs. Thanks. Uh, huh? Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing, limp dick? Limp dick. I'm just getting these pills for my... Looks like we got ourselves a burger. No, wait. You don't understand. I... Get him. Thief! Randall! Wait! Hold on! I I, I didn't... I, I can explain! The police! Don't move! Get on the ground! Put your hands up! Hands behind your head! Now! Now put your legs behind your head! What? Now roll around a little bit! I said don't move! Stop resisting! Ow! Damn! This stuff is spicy! Well, another by the book arrest! Thanks, Grizzle. I hope you have a great rest of your day, my man. Brutally meet him within the confines of the law. Not today, I'm afraid. Turns out this perp is a miner. A miner? Ew. I can't believe I touched it. So what you're saying is this will go on his... His permanent record. Oh, damn. Even better. Goodness me, what's going on? Well, I'm afraid your grandson got into a bit of trouble down at the retirement home. Don't worry, though. The long arm of the law gave him a long spanking. Oh, my. My coop? Oh, I hope he wasn't too much trouble, officers. No trouble at all, ma'am. Not after we showed up. 
It's too bad we don't get perps this tiny more often. They're a lot of fun to take down. Better keep an eye on this one. Well, thank you for bringing him back, officers. I'll take the punishment over from here. Will you be needing this? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm sure I've got a bedpan or two that could use some cleaning. Ew, yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here before this gets ugly. I've already gone through trauma therapy twice. <laughs> Have a good night, officers. Look, blame your, your boy toy. You're bringing the fuzz to my doorstep? What do I always say? Those pins want to snatch my crops. Me? If it wasn't for your weird, horny chore and violent boyfriend, I wouldn't have been yep. here in the first place. Exactly. I didn't raise no narc. You're an adult now, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. You can be tried as one. That would really harsh my mellow. Just tuck your stupid puberty hormones back in your pants before you end up behind bars. This is unacceptable, Cooper. You need to be punished. What? Why? What would the neighbors think if I didn't set an example enough? You're trick ass down a pig. <laughs> Let me spank you by the window so they can see. What, what the fuck? No. Worse than being tormented every waking moment at school, all while living with my horny, strung out grandma. <gasps> Cooper. Those hormones must be out of control. You've never spoken to me like this before. Well, Mr. Big Pants, how about no field trip tomorrow? How do you like them rutabagas? No, I hate them rutabagas. Yep. Do this. Too bad, Buster. I gotta keep my hose on a leash. My hose on a leash. You don't care about what I'm going through. Coop, I... No, you treat me more like an errand boy than a grandson. You say I'm going through a phase? What about your creepy golden year sexual renaissance, huh? You only care about yourself. But... You don't care about me, Grandma. Grandmas just don't understand. I'm a complicated, unique teen going through unique problems that nobody could possibly understand. Come, sure. I had no idea. You don't want me. Nobody wants me. Not as a friend, not as a prom date, not as a grandson. I'll always be remembered as the freak no one wants. I wish I died in the car crash with my parents instead of being raised by you. Damn. Uh, I suppose you know best. Yeah, and as soon as I graduate, I'm running away forever. So you won't have to deal with my hormones. Then I won't have to give a damn about what happens to this suck-ass town. Or you. Oh. Wow, that escalated. Why do I keep acting out? Why do I only make things worse? What the hell is wrong with me? Maybe Ken is right. Maybe I am a stupid dick-lipped loser. Psionic Steve, I'll bet you never got yelled at by your grandma. I mean, if your grandma wasn't eaten alive in your tragic backstory, that is. No, you always do the exact right thing. How do you do it? I wish you were here to show me. You'd stand up to my bullies, not run from them. You'd help the elderly, not steal their sex pills. You'd have a prom date and be a somebody, not a lonely nobody. And if you were here, you'd show me how to be the hero of the story and not a worthless freak. Mm. But you're not here. You're not even real. And I am all alone. I guess I'll go to sleep and try to forget about this suck-ass day. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally stand up for myself, get a prom date, and be somebody worth remembering. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Hopefully better than all of my yesterdays. Good night, Steve. Sure. The next day. That's an obnoxious alarm. Zone phone. Friend zone phone. Oh. <laughs> Seahorse to sawhorse. Come in. Don't forget to use proper CB lingo. Over. I'm over the radio lingo. Can you not be weird for like two seconds? This is important. Roger that. Reading you loud and clear. Over. Whatever. Anyway, have you been outside? Ken and his butthole patrol have been gunning for you all morning. They've like got some big end of school prank to pull on you or something. Might have to do with your butthole. Oh. Over. Get Sooks! I can't skip school today. How the hell are my butthole and I supposed to avoid them? Today's a big field trip to the bomb shelter. 
You coming? I mean, I know they won't be going on the trip because Kent and his pals think that school buses are the chariots of the poor. Chariots of the poor? Jesus, how do you know all of this? Over. I have dirt on everyone in this town, Coop. By the way, your hamster's dead. Oh no, he's just a sleepy little boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Definitely oh. dead. Get over here, Duder. If you can make it to the school, at least you'll be safe today. But there's no way Grandma will sign my permission slip after my very recent felony arrest. Yeah, I heard. Didn't take you as the type of guy to grope senior citizens. You're pretty thirsty for a prom date, aren't you? <laughs> what? No, it wasn't my fault. Look, I'll tell you about it later. <sighs> Any good ways to get past Kent and his shithead lackeys? You're on your own there, bud. I can't fight all your fights for you. Just watch out for them. They've been on a stakeout on Knothole Street, near the school entrance. If you can get around them, you're good as gold. Just do me a favor and try not to end up like your hamster, okay? Fat chance. I'm not even tired. All right. Well... He's completely in denial. Over and out, Duder. Wait, before you go... Can you make it quick? These covert government conspiracies aren't going to uncover themselves. I was wondering, w will you really be my prom date? If you help me find out what shady secrets our town has, everyone's gonna owe you one. So... Yes, if you help me out, I'll be your prom date. Plus, we all know prom is just a vapid social construct made to step Jesus Christ. into competing in pageantry for a plastic crown that is neither with glory nor power. <laughs> yeah, totally. Prom sucks. Besides, Imagine the look on Kent's face when he sees me walking into prom with someone like you. <laughs> well, thanks. It'll be hilarious. All right, get out there and try not to be killed to death. Good luck. Okay, love you. I mean, seahorse over and out. Hopefully not forever. Shit, if Grandma doesn't sign my permission slip, Kent and his gang are going to curb stomp me. Or worse, there's got to be a way to forge your signature. Okay, so we've already done part of this. How do we do the rest of it, though? I need something she's already signed. Anything different in here, Grandma? Nope. These petals, so soft and delicate, like lips. Two lips, to be exact. Ah, I'm lonely. Yeah. Okay. Nothing out here. Need to find some grandma signature on it. Listening in right now, please send bully seeking missiles. Good idea. Well, that's grandma. That's my grandma. She's raised me ever since I was just a little coop. Uh huh. You're from the IRS? Oh no, that sounds bad. But I get my taxes done at the ITNR block. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Let me write you a check. Do I make it out to the IRS? No. Too, Mark, you only take iTunes cards. I never put $7,000 into gift cards before. No. If you say so. Uh-huh. And the IRS only takes gift cards because... Right. When you say it like that, it makes perfect sense. I know one store where I can get iTunes cards, but it's 20 minutes from here. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I don't really like to drive. Well, I suppose I could call for a ride from Beatrice. Uh-huh. And if I hang up, you'll sick the police on me. Hold on. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Mmm, but nothing on me that has grandma's writing on it. It's one of those light boxes that artists use to traipse. 
I used to practice drawing Psionic Steve on it. It's a great way to rip off somebody else's work. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take the pen and try and sign it, but... I can't just fake Grandma's signature from memory. I'm gonna need a copy of her signature. So, do I push your buttons? Call me. Please, please stop. I can't just fake Grandma... Okay, still need to find a signature. Um... Where might something like that be? How come nobody ever sends me any mail, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Check it, check it, check it out. Greet. Greet. Why did I say greet? The fuck is wrong with me? For some reason, the word "I am group" popped in, or "senses I am group" popped in my head, and that changed up what I was gonna say. Anyway, don't question it. Uh, check. Boom. Perfect. Yes. Okay. If I can get this slip to school without Ken and his gang finding me, I can avoid a beating and possibly live to see tomorrow. Cool. That check already served its purpose for me. Best of luck with your future endeavors, Mr. Check. Do do do. Hmm. Need to get out of here. Is it to a hanging by Nut Hall Street by the? School? Oh? Shit! Kent, Brittany, and Chad are waiting right there to do their big murder prank on me! How the hell am I gonna get back to school when they're blocking the way? God damn it! Okay, we gotta somehow get around these fuckers. The protesting? You know? We pet the cat and hat. How you doing, my man? Ooh, hello, cat. So how is it? This game's a lot of fun, mate. It's silly and stupid, but fun. Ooh, kitty. Ooh, kitty. There we go. The post box right there. Well, I mailed her letter. I don't feel good about it, but I did it. Guess I better go tell Gertie the, uh... Good news. Yeah, so she won't torch my family with a freaking flamethrower. Mm -mm -mm. How are you doing, Tweet? Gertie's over here, right? Psycho lady. Yeah, there she is. Hi. Um, I mailed your letter out. Excellent. Run in. Excellent. Trouble? Uh, nope. It was just a matter of finding a stamp and mailing out a letter. How hard could that possibly be? Nobody could possibly get hurt doing such a simple task. Oh, uh, the mailman's pretty dead. To hurt people. I'm sure you could. Look, are we done here? Almost. First, I need to give you your reward for doing me that favor. Okay. Uh, it's okay. I just want to... I insist. Come over here, Sonny. Oh, no. Ow! Your kisses feel like Velcro. <laughs> Uh, this isn't exactly the reward I expected. You're welcome. Be sure to tell everyone that you got it from sweet old Gertie. Gee, uh, thanks. Yeah. Bye now. <sighs> My reward for all that was a smooch from some psychotic old lady? Means the most action you've gotten, kid, so don't complain. Um. Do do do. God. Actually, you know what? Mm -hmm. Uh, costumes. Let's go. F no. Go back to what we usually wear. Do 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 do. Okay. So, what do we got here? Chores. The condom thing. Yeah, get the anchovy chips. Ruin Beverly's date. How do I ruin this date? I wish that would work. 
Cope loses 10 confidence. Oh no. Um Give me a helmet. Smart thinking, but no. That didn't work, but I can imagine it did, and it feels good. Excellent, good for you. Oh. Don't worry, baby. I'll pick up the ticket. Mmm. Oh, one plate of dicks. Boop. Nothing ruins a date faster than receiving the wrong order, especially when it's an order of penises. Order up. Holly, you're playing dicks, my man. And here you are, sir. Your plate of dicks. Bon appetit. Why did he say it like Whoa. that? Looking good. Mm. What? That. That gross plate of, of dicks? Delicious. Uh, when I started dating a man who's constantly looking at himself in the mirror, I had no idea he'd be so full of himself. And now this. Is what you order? I knew men only had one thing on their mind. I just assumed it was their own. I hope you and your plate of dicks are happy. God, I made a mistake. Dating sucks. I might as well go back to what's comfortable instead of trying to find what makes me happy. Oh. My ex husband. Okay. Well, we saved the janitor's marriage. We take the cake though. Feels rare to me. Steak and cake. Dinner and dessert all on one plate. Big old plate of dicks. A plate of penises? That doesn't strike me as yummy wummy. Jesus. Wait, is that janitor? I uh ruined your wife's fancy date. You you did? For my <gasps> Oh. But why? So you'd clean up the school. That place is so trashed, I got my neck stuck in a plastic soda ring and almost died like one of those sea turtles. <laughs> You're right, kid. I don't deserve people like you in my life. Does this mean we're friends? Now, hold on. <laughs> Let's take it slow. Uh, this divorce is rough, and I'm in no place to make commitments yet. Right. But I, I appreciate everything you've done. Fuck you too, guy. What the fuck did he just cover me in dirt? Thanks for the dirty hug. Made all this effort totally worth it. Great. Wow. Now I'm covered in dirt and tears. <sighs> we go this way? No? So we fixed his marriage. What's up with you, chicken guy? chicken outfit all day long eh, beats being in high school I legitimately can't argue with that nope so how's the chicken here anyway couldn't say mother clucking chicken. chicken here we only serve chick ends uh what's the difference to legally call your food chicken it needs to actually contain chicken in it we can oh that claim. so legally the workaround is to call it chick ends instead okay so what's in it then Herbs, spices, and a shitload of factory chemicals to create a chicken like substitute. So it's but like a vegetarian yummy. alternative faux chicken? No, there's definitely lots of animal parts mixed in with those chemicals. We just don't know what animal. All we know is that none of them are chicken. I huh. feel like I'm going down a very disturbing rabbit hole here. Yeah. Actually, rabbit could be one of those animals in our chick and product. It's a mystery turducken chemical in food products. This sounds delicious. Do you guys sell any other types of food? Funny you mention it, because we've just unveiled our new Mother Cluckin' Slurry Surprise. What's that? Yeah. It's a byproduct of our chick and chemical process. Oh. And we'll serve it piping hot in a cup with an extra thick straw. An extra thick straw? That's an odd thing to mention. Well, it's still quite chunky. We're not sure why, but even though we heat it to 900 degrees for several days, some of the stuff in the slurry just doesn't break down. Ugh. Rather than scoop it out, we just give it to our customers with an extra thick straw so they can suck up those chunky bits. You know, this has so gross. Pass on the slurry surprise. Yeah, most people do. How long did it take you to get that good at sign twirling? 
About ten years. Wow, I had no idea you sign spinners put so many hours into it. Yeah, it's a unique skill, a lost art if you will. We twirlers have been honing our craft for ages, so businesses had best cough up some real cash if they want our expertise. Okay. Oh yeah? What kind of cash? Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Great. Yeah. So what's a fella gotta do to score a costume like that? Normally, you'd need to become a full-time employee here, but if you'd be willing to help me out, I can score one for you. I guess that depends on the favor. Well, I just got...